You are now tuned in to How to Nerd, hosted by Roxy Hayes, Cleo Thomas, and Brennan Edwards. We did it, y'all. Welcome to episode nine of How to Nerd Podcast, <laughs> your guide to all things nerdy. I'm one of your hosts, Brennan Edwards, and we also have this wonderful, amazing human being to my right named Cleo Thomas. What's happening, everybody? We one back, baby. And there's also, I guess, a Roxy, I suppose. Roxy, Roxy Hayes, the best person on this podcast. I'm so excited. How are you guys doing today? Oh, man. Well, just, I'm really enjoying how humble you are. Oh, my God. I'm so happy to see you guys. You're so what humble. A, it's so what cool. a wonderful day we're having. Wow. All right, guys. So today we're going to do some real... Wow. Slime you. That's what we're doing? Yeah. Slime? Don't ruin this. Don't that, ruin is that the slime hand me. motion? Please oh my. Ruin it. For those watching... Don't for those ruin who, it for me, man. For those who are just listening to this, uh, I'm really... I'm actually very happy for you that you didn't have to see... What Roxy just did with her hand to be able to say sliming, quote unquote. <laughs> um, but we're going to, that's no. a good segue because today we're actually going to be talking about um, nerding out on Nickelodeon. Yeah. Nick, 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 Nick Nickelodeon. Like that harmony? You yeah. just, you literally just waited until someone said that word. Of course. Yeah, that of was, course. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm you have to. If you're going to do it, you gotta, I mean, we you come from that change. era. Yeah. We do. No, so we do. You gotta, you gotta do the, the jingle. Don't give me, so look, she's giving me doubtful eyes because we had a very brief conversation before this where I admitted. That I am not a Nickelodeon nerd, but I do love Nickelodeon. I love it. It's fine. Um, yeah, as you can see, I don't have a gear. Can you, can you like love Nickelodeon but not be a nerd about yeah, it? Yeah, I feel like you can. You can. No, the thing is because for me, like for example, mm-hmm. uh, we knew we were doing this episode. Yeah. I didn't have anything to bring. Oh. Like I don't have anything that's like a Reptar or a Nickelodeon jacket. or any, I, just, I don't have any physical like manifestation of Nickelodeon in my life. I have nothing. Okay. I have a lot of good memories. I'm so sorry Calm that down. you're... Charles, your fake Charizard <laughs> doll. Oh, oh. Act like it was this going is to fake Godzilla. Him. That's Reptar. He's he was based off of Godzilla. It seems like a mix between. It's like Godzilla and Charizard had a baby that wasn't quite what it needed to be. <laughs> like Reptar is is an iconic character though, and we were just talking about it before we started recording. There was a purple one. People don't remember there was a purple Reptar. Okay, thing. so when it comes to like giant lizards or like animals of similar size to Reptar, yeah. Who is Reptar going to give the hands to? Because I feel like he's going to get the hands from literally everything and everyone. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Because you're saying it's weakest. like legendary. I'm just like, when I think legendary, it's like, you can't touch this person. But like, if you put Reptar in any other world, like yeah. Reptar is catching these hands. No. Or scales or tails. He could be. Or fire breath. Who? Who? We're talking King lizards. King Kong will whoop that ass. We're talking lizards. We're talking about things that fight lizards and that are giant lizards. You know, we got the whole Godzilla shit. We got the he's mechs. Godzilla. We got anything. He's not Godzilla. He's Reptar. He's That's the difference. Cousin. They're cousins. Whatever. And he's D-list, the little cousin that got his ass beat. Whatever oh, like no, D-list no. like thing that the, the Power Rangers had to fight in the Zord. Like whatever whatever D-list oh, version like of it. Oh, like the pudgy pig? They, yeah, he's yeah, whooping he the pudgy pig. Like How about this? It'd be a good fight. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. It'd, It'd be a good respect on Reptar. It would be a good fight for the Busta Rhymes voice Reptar, man. You I mean, it. that's yeah, amazing. In the, in the, in the, in the movie, movie, yeah. In the movie, but generally, no. Yeah. So I just want to point out. <laughs> look, the thing is, look, I'm not trying it. to shade it. I, the thing is, that's like, good. when you said legendary or, like, iconic, I had to think, it's like, what does Reptar mean to me? Why was I never connected to Reptar? It's like, because yeah. Reptar never gave nobody hands. No, it's because you don't like happiness and, like, good things. Jesus. All right, so we're going to start off the episode Jesus. the way we normally do with a uh, icebreaker. Wow. <laughs> Jesus, man. Um, so the question being today, Roxy, you'll start us off since you're so excited about this. I'm so sorry. Is if you could swap lives with any fictional character for a week, who would it be and what would you do? Go ahead, Roxy. Answer the question. For a week? Yeah, for a week. Any you know, fictional character. so mad? I'm, what you mean mad? I'm just asking a question. It's on the board. What I didn't even ang- write it. You hear such an angry teacher right now. Since you want to talk and not raise your hand, <laughs> you come to the board. You still ain't answered the question. I haven't. All right, so if I could switch lives with any fictional character for a week, you know what? It would be Steven Universe. Why? Because I love him. Okay. His life seems nice. This is like after the war. Nothing during wartime. He like lives on a beach in a house with some gems and they be having good time. He be ukuleleing, eating little cookie cat ice cream, and then he got powers and stuff. He be wearing crop tops, got his girl with him, and then they be fusing together. That seems like a nice life in some sandals. Why she explains things? It's very, like, <laughs> like yeah. I'm trying to find where it's actually. You and nice I both because I'm chilling. Like... I'm chilling. I just want to chill. Yeah, I don't know how to chill. Infuse. Yeah, infuse with my broad. Yeah, it would be a great. We just chilling. Broad? We are In fused together. Right? <laughs> like she might as well say scallywag. Yeah. Chill with my, you know, my my bitch. And we are. <laughs> wow. 
and we're fused together as gems. But then I got powers. Yo, is this your I, people's? I got this is my so- people's. But <laughs> this is my people's. In this oh, episode, queen. this is your people's. And now. then we feed. But, and then I got a sword. But you mentioned the ukulele. Yeah, that's really. <laughs> it's the ukulele because I've seen you play a ukulele, <laughs> and it wasn't until this very moment that I just realized how are you doing that. That should be physically impossible for you to actually play a ukulele. Is it because of my hands? I just realized that. Oh, what a terrible person. That they be- have a bigger size ukulele. A homeless Yo. man stole it out of my car, but I'm getting my bigger ukulele. I'm actually Yo. ordering it today. How do you he play a ukulele? He came with the questions. It's, oh, because of my titties too? Yeah, you just figured out no. what he was... And I'm my talking hands. about the hands. Well, it's more it's a combination of the two. I saw, when he said that, I literally saw your hands like putting shadows well, across I have to titties. put, And I realized, like, oh my God. I'm not going to explain it, but I have to put the ukulele up here. I'm not going to explain it, but I'm going to proceed to explain it. So is it like the little Mr. Krabs violin thing? (laughs) (laughs) Next person. Next person. Oh, God. Y'all hate when I'm happy. Oh, (laughs) man. Oh, so now it's both of us hating yes. happiness. Oh, Got it. I never okay. thought it was you, light skin, but apparently today. So, wow. oh, same man. question. Yo. <laughs> the question is uh, if I could change. If you could be any fictional character for a week, who would you be and why? Any fictional character you're for gonna a be week. With, you're going to be in their world being them. Ooh, Lex Luthor. Oh, wow. Of course. Lex Luthor. Animate, no, DC, Justice League Unlimited Lex Luthor. Why? You want to just be a villain? <laughs> exactly. He's an asshole. He's, he's an such, he's I such. love that Lex Luthor. That's the best depiction of Lex Luthor I think we've ever seen. You're making me rethink my whole pick. <laughs> he's so cool, bro. Like, and, and he's black. Like, first and foremost, okay, like, like they grew him black. Like, they grew him black. They, excuse me, they drew him black. <laughs> grew him which black. I'm happy Crazy. with. Because every other Lex Luthor we've seen, just, you know, the white, white guy. And bald. Yeah, and was it Jesse Eisenberg? That just played him. Yeah, in the I, I wasn't a fan. Did you see the new one that's playing uh, Lex Luthor? I think. What was it? What was it? It's on? uh Is it Nick Holt, the actor from? Um, no, what series is he in? It's Nicholas Holt that's playing the next Luthor. Is it like in the Daredevil Lex Luthor? I'm not Daredevil. I'm sorry. That's He's gonna be the world. next uh, in the James Gunn universe of the DC movies. Yeah, I was in the wrong world. Wrong world. Can't I went the wrong world. I realized it immediately. Disgusting. I get it. Um, <laughs> no, I don't, no, I haven't seen that. Nicholas Holt is gonna be playing. You know the actor Nicholas Holt? I don't. Uh, did you yeah. see X Men First Class? Yes. Yeah. The one that uh, played Beast. Oh, wait, him? Oh, yeah, that's Lex. Mm. I like him. I mean, he was a good beast. But he was beast. He was also too, in, uh, yeah. yeah, he was in Mad Max as well. He yeah. has a few franchises yeah, underneath his stuff. belt. Okay. Yeah. All right. oh, the, menu? Gonna... Yeah, the menu? Yeah. The menu okay. as well? Yeah, he's 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 okay. a guy. So you, are you looking forward to this? Uh, y- Yeah, I'm okay. looking forward to it. But yeah, to answer your question... Yeah, I want to be the Lex with money that's, uh, that, that, Yeah, because he could do it. You know, Lex is doing whatever the hell he wants in Metropolis. Uh, he pulls up and, and like Rex ha- wreaks havoc on the mm. city and then runs for mayor the next day and like, hey, you know, I was stripping that day. Like, yeah, we love Superman, right? Mm. Fuck that guy. Learned I love him a lot. Okay. It's really it's very telling. Lex Luthor. Yeah. Very telling, Cleo. Yeah. Nice to know that about you. Yeah, man. Um, mm. my answer is Tony Stark. Of course. Um, and the did. reason is Tony Stark. He did though. <laughs> Well, it said in his universe, so I'm picking. You pick the time, and you pick the Lex Luthor. Okay. Right. So I'm doing the same thing. Like around the time of Avengers One, before any loss or anything like that happened, like I think it'll be amazing because not only am I running one of the biggest corporations in the world, have all the power. Yeah. I get all the ladies. All of them. All of them, and Everybody I literally invent my superpowers whenever I feel like I want them to be something. That'd be a yeah. fantasy. Um. So it'd be an absolute problem. Like it'd be an absolute problem. And if I wanted to be a villain. Could that be. day, very telling, very very easy to do. Like yeah. for me, I like the power to be whatever. Good point. You know, and like what it comes down to, I think we both are just like we like the power. We like the so power. you like want to be an asshole that's still loved, and you want to be an asshole that doesn't really care if you're loved or not. Bingo. I can live with that. So that's because that's she made. She said it like it was something bad. I know. Works out for us. You know the cool thing about <laughs> <laughs> you, you want to have fun and play with your ukulele. ukulele and a crop top I'm and sorry, these I wanna, gems. I want to just have a good time. Y'all are like, I want to rule the no. world. Well, <laughs> us, creep. Us, what <laughs> damn creep? We can say we want to have a good time. Our good time looks different. Than our, yours. Your yeah. good time, our good time is, is, is power you know and control. Is, the crazy part is though, is like if we wanted to sit in the beach and play ukulele, you could. Those five, we could, but we could. you wouldn't. No, you said I want to smash broads. You want to lie to the general public. You want to fuse with your broad is what you said. We having a good time. Come on, baby. Um, Nobody's hippie. hurt. Hippie. There's no way that like Roxy doesn't lie to her broads though. <laughs> oh no, there's no Roxy's way. Roxy's lying to all her broads. I don't lie. No, I swear. I have Dime ADHD. What? Will I fudge? Yes, but I don't lie because I don't remember the lies, and I don't have to lie to my hoes. They know what it is. All right, Wink. moving on. Next Jesus. up, we have um, our nerding out. Wow. Jesus. Never lie to you, baby. What are we nerding out on? Not that. <laughs> Not that, but we're gonna, what we're nerd, well. The thing is, that's the question. What are we nerding out on? What are what is the thing that we are currently right now nerding out on? Um, I guess we, I'll go in reverse order from last time. I'll start this one. 
is I know this one's random or whatever, and it's gonna take us into a different energy, but this is where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. I've actually been nerding out on the idea of death um, lately. Mm -hmm. um, and just like how it really has to be part of like the circle of life, what death really means and like how far the idea of death goes. Mm -hmm. Because most people think of death as like, oh, it's just me dying or whatever, or animals dying or something like that. But I'm, I've been like in like super far out in the space of like, you know, obviously planets die, stars die. Mm -hmm. That means that galaxies die. Um, does that also mean that universes die? And so does that also mean that like, you know, you think of, like when you think about the concept of where the multiverse came from, I think I personally believe that a possibility of a theory came from the idea of death. You know what I'm saying? It's just like if everything we know has to be born and die, that means all of it at some point has to be born and die again, which means this entire universe has to die, which means there either there had to have been something before that, which means there has to be something after that, which means that there's more of this than we know. Maybe there's more of it happening at the same time, too. Um, it's like multiverse from the idea of death. So that's where I, my brain goes into super nerdy shit. I know. But that's how like my brain works. Yeah, that's what I was like. You're high. Huh? <laughs> no, this, had, this actually has nothing to do with any type of... I mean, I Thanos just, was trying to smash death. This is so literally... Just for the record, this is literally my nerding out about this one. I went on a, 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 more, a run this morning, like a hike this morning. And that's what and I was thinking like, about. Oh, we up here in the mountain. Let's talk now, about what death. What time did you do this hike? <laughs> uh, I got there at 6.30. Jesus. Yeah, man. We out here. So... <laughs> So Cleo. It's the but what's the statement as far as energy is it doesn't you can't it's yeah. not can be created or destroyed, yeah. it only can be transferred. Transferred. Correct. So is it is it your thought as far as death is that is that thought in that as well? One hundred percent. I mean it's it's really coming back to like the base root laws of what physics are mm. and how we understand physics in this world. Is that we don't understand a lot of that comes with physics. Like we don't even know how gravity works. Mm -hmm. You know, so like we also don't even really truly know why death is necessary as part of life outside of the idea of evolution that our environment changes. So we have to change with the environment or we don't live. But what if we don't die? So why do we need to change the environment and the environment doesn't change anymore because the change comes from death? Gotcha. You know, it's like just fall, like those kind of thoughts folding on top of each other. It's like, how necessary is this? And then like then going into like the idea of CRISPR and stem cells and all that kind of stuff is just like, well, what about extending life and like what that looks like and how much would you want to extend it if you could? You know, those are the kind of thought process. I was just like, I was just just You've murdered out. before. What? Wait, how did now? How did you get to murder on that? How do we get to murder? You've murdered. I didn't say anything about killing. We all are going to die. We have to make peace with that. Those who live better are the ones who understand that there's certain things in their lives they can't control mm -hmm. and they don't try to control those things. Understand. You can't control if you're going to die or not. Very true. So Serial killer. What's Tell wrong with more. accepting it? Nothing's <laughs> wrong with accepting it. Oh, the last thing I'll say is one of the interesting things that we found in science is that there's something that's called the immortal jellyfish. It's a really, really, really small jellyfish that's called that because we don't actually know what how long they can live. Hmm. Reason being is anytime there's like a stress applied to them, whether that be like famine or like they can't eat or drink or something like hurt them or something like that, they have the ability to revert back to their papal state like babies. They just turn back into a baby. Like they're like, boop, oh, I'm a baby cute. again. So it turns back into a baby again and then it goes through the life cycle again. It just, all right, now I'm a baby. Now I'm back to an adult. And then it's just like, mm, I'm old. I have cancer. Nah, I'm a baby again. Um, and mm. so like scientists have been talking about like, oh, how do we apply this to humans? And like people don't real the, realize the repercussions of it. It's like these jellyfish are becoming a whole new jellyfish in sense. Like their brain reverts back to being a baby as well. Mm -hmm. So if you think about it that way, that means you forget everything you know. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So even if we could oh, do that, you be, if you almost it's almost like cloning yourself. Like, yes, this body is still here, but my brain is going to be rebuilt again with a whole new set of external circumstances. Yeah. Um, so there's like a lot of stuff going into that. But there is a, a jellyfish that we actually don't know the limit of how long it can live, thus the name, the immortal jellyfish. Yeah. I'm going to get into that when I get home. That, yeah. that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, man, I'd be going nerd hard. So what about you? Um, I started watching this anime on HBO Max that that uh, I do, I can't remember the name of it off top because only two episodes have come out so far and it's like violent. It's on what? It's on HBO Max. It's an anime. Yeah, I can. Uh, yes, Ninja <laughs> Kamui. Have yeah. you watched it, Cameron? Cameron, yeah, our Texas. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, that I missed that one. episode. That's I did watch violent. it. Right, right, right. And I like it. It's very violent. Yeah, I was, I was, it was great. Animation style in the second episode, as far as the fighting, I didn't enjoy. Okay. I was like, this seems very low quality. Mm -hmm. In comparison to everything else we've seen, but I'm digging this story. Okay. Mm. Yeah, like ninjas. Are, were, only two episodes are out, or you only seen two episodes? Only two episodes are out. Got it. So if, if you guys like re really violent animes, like Baki that cutscene, Baki or that cutscene in Ooh. Kill Bill. Okay. Yeah, this is the one. Awesome. I like it. Dope. Yeah. What you got, Rocky? I've been, mine's inappropriate. It sounds about right. It's you. So. So I've been. <laughs> is it inappropriate for general or inappropriate no, for you? No, in general. Okay. What's inappropriate uh, for Roxy? That's nothing. my point. Yeah. I'm um, terrified. So yeah. no. Okay. So. <laughs> 
Stop you okay there? You yeah, all right there, buddy? I'm trying to phrase yeah, Come this. on, give Reptar a hug. I'm trying to... Uh. So I've been... So I am back uh, dating now. Dating, not... You know, I've been having sex. Okay. But I'm back... Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Shut the oh hell up. Oh, my God. I'm please. so happy. Come and take care I'm of so... Please. Someone, please. I still got you later. But yeah, I'm that back... That was not me. This is awesome. Right here. I'm back... <laughs> per- I love this guy. I should say purposefully courting people, right? I've been going on <laughs> dates... I gotta hear this. Yeah, no, no, yeah. go ahead. Come on, tell us about it. it tell is, us about it. I am intentionally dating, I uh-huh. should say. Oh. For, you know, for a while. You know, yeah, I know me. I've been hanging out with people. I've been going out. Smashing. Fucking, yeah. A smashing, right? But now I'm like, you know what? I think I'm ready for an actual relationship. And what makes you think you're ready? Because I, shut up. So, I. <laughs> that's an actual question. <laughs> no. That's not how to answer for no, Tell me you're not too, ready without telling me you're not ready. That's too, no, it's intimate. But no, you I brought this up. <laughs> this is your subject matter. <laughs> just the, I've been, <laughs> it's just funny. So, I haven't been in a monogamous relationship since. 2018. I thought you were gonna name the year you were born. No, shut the fuck up. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Hey, no, okay. No, no, Damn. You got it. That, was, that was good. That was Damn. pretty good. But no, I was like, you know what? I have been kind of playing around with like being poly and kind of all of that. And I was like, you know what? I think I want to try monogamy. So I've been studying, you know, like monogamy be a loyal versus person. Poly. <laughs> <laughs> how to be a loyal person. I will I'm, not. Okay. That's amazing. No, no. I mean, that's literally what but you no, were saying. But that, that... Just wording it differently, which was amazing. That's what I well was, done, Cleo. I was, fuck y'all. I try to be vulnerable in this space. But no, I have. I've been studying monogamy uh-huh. and, and relationship dynamics. Did you guys get like a picture of like Roxy? Like people on a date and she's in the woods. Just, I mean, like, in the, <laughs> it's just like, wow, look at them. They're talking. She's I, not even, he's I, not even I, thinking about any other I dishes. I have. I've been doing, not like that, but I have. Like, I've been just talking to more people that are relation, in relationships, like talking to older married couples, like uh-huh. having conversations. This has been going on for like a year, a year where I've been like. What do you think is the biggest thing you've learned from it? Those conversations. Um, <laughs> just really understanding communication and how to properly communicate your needs and wants with people. So that's your answer right there to the question earlier. I said, what Which makes one? you feel like you're ready? Oh, yeah. And it's like, sounds like you're ready to communicate on a different <laughs> Yeah, I'm level. ready to openly, because I don't lie. I don't lie when you I have fudge. been. Nah, no. You literally <laughs> said that earlier. We haven't like, recorded. Like this, though. Bro. I, I think like not, that. Not, so like, yeah, no, but, but I'm <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit like, you know, people know I'm dating multiple people. I don't lie about that. But, you know, I have been one to fudge feelings to make the other person feel comfortable. Like, you know, been in situations where they like me way more than I like them. And I don't want to hurt their feelings. So I'm like, oh, I like you too. Like and that I don't. Did, that that but I do did. like that them. Like that really so it's like did. an inter- Feels inter- like we just came, <laughs> we just ran right into the fudge part. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the opposite. Poor baby. Yeah, I'm a wild baby. Poor child. It, 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 but Poor now. Child. Do, we, do you want a hug? Do you need a hug? No, I'm good now. Okay. It, 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 but now I'm like, you know what? No, I want to be open and clear with people. And mm. that led me to the road of I want to be in a monogamous a monogamous relationship. You can't even say it. Because it's so foreign for me. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're checking back in on this. Yeah, yeah we're going to check back in on this. Final yeah. episode. Uh, producer, please add to the final episode. The only thing she's allowed to learn out about is what her relationship status it's is monogamy? at that time. I mean, I'm dating some people. I understand that. Leading but that is, to, yeah. yeah, so we want to see the it's progress. Actually dating. It's actually I'm happy for you. I'm good job. very happy for you, Roxy. I hope you find that. Oh, no, yeah. Thank you. I'm good still going to be fucking a lot. But, you know, <laughs> Yo, these are pity claps in case you're wrong. <laughs> um, Y'all don't believe me. All right, guys. Let's talk about, let's talk about the realness out here. Yeah. Yay! We're here to talk about Nickelodeon. We're here to nerd out about Nickelodeon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I think the best way to start with that is let's just talk about some of our favorite shows that are on Nickelodeon because that's what Nickelodeon is known for. Mm-hmm. Obviously, if you don't know, you know, to give the precursor, Nickelodeon is a television network um, that was became very prominent during the 90s uh, mm-hmm. and obviously carried on as prominence. It's created some of the most iconic characters and shows um, in Honestly, in animated history and otherwise, actually, there's other shows that have done exceptionally well. I don't have the full catalog of what a Nickelodeon show is because in my mind, mm-hmm. some of them I merge with Cartoon Network stuff, to be fully yeah. honest. I wow. know there is a definitive line, but sometimes mm-hmm. I might put one in the other, yeah. Yeah. you know, but like, for example, Spongebob, right? That mm-hmm. came from Nickelodeon, mm-hmm. which iconic. is easily yeah. one of the most iconic characters yeah. in anything ever, ever. like yeah. like showing up at the Super Bowl kind of thing or like entire broadcast cool. for the most popular television network, I mean, show on television mm-hmm. was shown with Nickelodeon on Nickelodeon with characters from one of Nickelodeon's shows. So that tells mm-hmm. you what that cultural impact looks like. But before we get into all that, or to go any deeper in that, I want to know what are your favorite, let's go top 
three Nick shows. Ooh. What you got? We doing animated live action. Top three Nick shows. Any? Okay. Yes. You look ready. So go ahead, Roxy. Pull you know, it up. So. And this we won't hold you to it because this is on the spot. Oh, we we'll yeah. just talk about this ahead of time. As told by Ginger. Oh wow. As told by Ginger is one of my favorite. Our, our, one of our, our producers, yeah. Janelle, is in it's on that. It's such a good show. I'm, we got I'm a finger, actually finger to do point some more of, a, of it. approval. Did Major Gray do the intro? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Right. Someone wants to be the guy. That's with my green eyes. But I think it was just it was like a slice of life show. Yeah. Um, but they talked about like some real stuff. The characters were funny. Um, I actually but, don't remember that show very well. So it was about a girl named Ginger, and she had this group of friends, and she was kind of like a little nerd, but she ended up kind of getting cool with the popular crowd. So it was just like showing her going through life. Okay. Um, she writes in a diary. They had a lot of that in Nickelodeon because Doug wrote in a diary. Seal too. girl. Yeah. Yeah. Was Chris explained it all on Nickelodeon think too? That huh? I'm Chris explained it all on Nickelodeon. Chris explains it all. Yeah. Yeah. I actually used to love that show. I'm that girl and I'm that seal. Oh my God. And I'm a little seal. Okay. What's your okay, okay, girl? Show. Living <laughs> in a seal world. <laughs> oh yeah. That was he a banger. I remember. I remember. Okay. Go ahead. Seals can't eat. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So that's so by Ginger. Um, and then I'm gonna have to go Rugrats. Yeah. Just okay. because like it's Rugrats. Uh, as all grown up was okay. Mm. It, uh, they they kind of I like the show better than when they did the movie, but like the Rugrats movies were great. Like they were just really good. I could still go back and watch some Rugrats episodes. They're great. And then I'm gonna Bangers. go. What's next? My my third. What show do I watch? Because I watch so much Nickelodeon. I'm gonna go. Not my life as a teenage robot, but it's up there. I'm gonna go. You know what? I have to go. Keenan and Kel. Okay. I'm going Keenan and Kel. I feel like like all yeah. that and Keenan and Kel like really influenced me. Just like wanting to be a comedian, like just wanting to be funny as a kid. But Keenan and Kel was extremely iconic because it was like the first show like that where it was two black teenagers. Yeah, like you know they used to call Nickelodeon. <laughs> you know what they called it, right? Mm -hmm. so is they were the called N I G G. Elodian? Yeah, Elodian. Oh, okay. But it's because of that. Because like I actually that, didn't know that. Yeah, my brother and me oh and all of that God. stuff like that was the era. Hit me, <laughs> hit, hit me. me. <laughs> that only had one season, man. Oh, Yo, I, it, it deserved way more. I than loved that. my brother and me. That yeah. episode alone. That. Oh, it was huh? really never funny. Never watched my brother. And you me. never watched my brother? There's an yeah, episode. Oh man, that episode that we're talking about the hit me. Goo Ooh, punch. punch. Everybody not. Goo punch. punch. Bro, that show was great. It was really good. There's a lot of really <laughs> lot of really strong characters in that show. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So this, probably doesn't yeah, hold up at all. You. I'll say that. Oh, to it's be probably honest. not that great. Um, <laughs> is, is, who, who's in, in my brother and me? Uh it was a short oh, dark. Shit. One of them was a rapper, and I think he did he kill somebody? No, I don't know if he killed somebody. I think he did something illegal. The other one, the younger brother, he got real fine and he plays baseball. Hilarious. <laughs> She was, yeah. Amanda Sills was in there. That's crazy. I had a meeting with her yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. So, one. all right. Moving top, on. Top three. Top three. What mm -hmm. you got? Uh, we're gonna go with Avatar: The Last Airbender. Yeah, Fire. that's up that. there. You gotta do that. Yeah, yeah that's up there. I for forgot me. that came from Nickelodeon. I had to change my top three immediately. Yeah. As yeah. I, as soon as I realized. It's fire. That one's up there for me. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Of yep. course. It's it's so cool. They tried to bring it back. On the CW, oh, he, it was ugh, so bad because they tried to make it for adults, and they should have made it like still the childish. Again. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I have to go animated again. I think I gotta go Rugrats. Yeah, I think I gotta go Rugrats, man. Like it was. Look, the Rugrats episodes, as far as Passover, like yeah. they really would. They they had a Kwanzaa. Jewish family on. It was <laughs> dope. Mm -hmm. It was Susie going up against Angelica. Yeah. Like we had a black girl looking at, at Angelica. Like you're not about to run shit here. It was mm -hmm. dope. I, yeah. I love that show. I man. love Susie. She's my Susie she's Carmichael. Susie was not here for the games. Like she would be the only one that could stand up to Angelica every time. Leave those that. babies alone. Like, right? Oh, Angelica yeah. be like, oh, sh I mean, you know, I'm. I was just playing. Like, <laughs> did, did we see? Did we see Susie in all grown up? Yeah, she was like a singer and stuff. What? She sang the theme song. Chris Summer sang the theme song. Every birthday, oh, my mama. Don't give me start on theme songs. I know you're. Yeah, that. obviously. Good lord. There's yeah. Um, no. no. Right, so wait, is that all three? That's three yeah. for me. What was yours again? Same again. Um, Avatar: The Last Airbender, okay. Legends of the Hidden Temple, all Rugrats. Right. All right, well, man, this is tough. It is because it's so really much. tough. Like uh, we have a list pulled up of some of the more iconic um, shows. So I have to. So I'm gonna. I agree with your picks, but I'm gonna go in a different direction just so that we can talk about more cool. shows. Um, I personally actually absolutely watched as much of this show as almost any other Nickelodeon show. The Fairly Odd Parents. Oh, oh my Timmy's God, me is an average kid, kid with no one understands. understands. 
Mom and dad and Vicky always giving him commands. Bad twerk. I knew you were going to do that part. Go. How did I know? How do we know she was going to do that part? Because she's part. got it down pat. Because she's you know, the one. Do you yeah. know the rap? Do you know when he start? Do you know the whole? Obtuse ho- rubber goose green juice. Obtuse. Nope. Oh, Obtuse uh, rubber goose bleh. green moose guava well, juice. Obtuse. <laughs> you made me. Obtuse rubber goose green moose guava juice. Giant snake birthday cake. Large fries. Chocolate shake. shake. Did it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fair, fair, so yeah, fair as you can see, that show was amazing because <laughs> there's very few shows to me that can do the formulaic type of show mm-hmm. well. You know, like there's a couple of them that really stand out. You know, some of them stand out for being terrible, like Scooby Doo, or ones that are really good, like Phineas and Ferb and Fairly Odd Parents. Whereas they have the same formula every episode, but they actually make it so that it's like unique mm-hmm. every time that makes it really fun. Whereas other shows might not do that. It's just yeah. literally the same thing over and over again. And I think Fairly Odd Parents is one of the people that, or what people, one of the shows that did that as mm-hmm. good or better than mm-hmm. anybody else in that Solid space. Thing. That's why it lasted so long. Yeah. Um, gotta go with SpongeBob. Yeah. Um, SpongeBob. Like when I was in high school, like young high school, like ninth, tenth grade, me and my boys, like we pulled so many quotes from that show. Like I still can't believe it's lasted this long. It's, it's like I it's not slowing down. SpongeBob. It's still going. But I'm just saying, like, you know, like the uh the <laughs> those, uh, Danny crusty, Ray? no crusty crab pizza, pizza is the pizza. You know? you exactly. Pizza. Yeah, I can yeah. start just doing a crusty crab. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like there's so many things. You know, it was like Patrick just, oh, the dumbness of Patrick was just so beautiful. No, this um, is Patrick. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, when it's just like, <laughs> I, there was one part was like, Patrick, like, he was like, Patrick, I'm mad. Why are you mad? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> like, God. what? That's but, the thing about it. It's like, it's, it's so, so stupid, stupid so but people love it. Yo, and Plankton, come on, like, just the, the Captain L. Like, yeah. there's one villain you don't want to be. It's Plankton. Plankton, bro. Because, good Lord. Um, So I got, so- and then the last one I'll say is a show that was so different to me, but so impactful, is mm-hmm. that there's so many episodes that we can name right off. As soon as I say it, there's going to be so many phrasings, so many episodes, so many things that may have even changed the way you've seen things mm-hmm. that this show did. I'm going to say that show is Hey Arnold. Oh, um, my God. I don't know how I left Hey Arnold off. Oh, man. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey Arnold, Arnold. The I, theme I'm song switching. of Hey Arnold, They, you got to think about how creative this was. They're like, we're going to take a kid's show. Mm-hmm. And we're going to draw these characters to look really weird, but still represent actual children, yeah. like like with their races and creeds intact. We're going to put a theme song on this that's literally jazz. Banana. Yeah. Like we're going to do Banana. absolute jazz, Banana. which nothing else sounded like that at that time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nothing else looked like it at that time. And then literally like handle like actual cultural things that people are dealing yeah. with in the show in a way that doesn't even feel like it's happening. Like yeah. episode one, day one, like it was like bullying. Let's go. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, don't hit me. I'll hit me. I'm, <laughs> I'm crazy. crazy. <laughs> you know? And it's just like, that's actually like some real lessons in that. It's like, yeah. how do you deal with the bullies? Like make them so they don't want to deal with you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm Good saying? Like, it works. like, it's just like, yo, like, and then it's like Gerald, like his best friend, the black dude, like, like he was just cool as hell yeah. at all times down for the, like he was down for whatever, mm. yeah. you know, Arnold lived in the weirdest situation because a lot of kids these days or, or those days, I should say when it came out, even these days don't grow up with a nuclear household. Mm-hmm. And he didn't either. He's growing up with his grandparents and it was fine. In a boarding house. In a boarding house. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was a lot. You know, and it's a lot of weird. Yeah. Stoop kid. Don't want to leave a stoop. You know, it's just like what kids become known for, like you now become that stereotype. Mm-hmm. And we saw them consistently overcome what they were known for because people are deeper than that. Mm-hmm. Like all the characters had another additional level to it. Yep. And there was a lot of lessons that that show would teach us. So for me, I loved Hey Arnold because of the depth as well as the creative, like just uh, boldness that that show mm-hmm. took. It's like they took a lot of just like, hey, we're going to do this because we think it's right, not because anyone else is doing mm-hmm. anything like this. So couple, they, go ahead. Go ahead. So yeah, those are my three. Couple things. So you, you mentioned... Your first one was uh, the Fairly Odd Parents. Correct. Did they do a crossover episode with Jimmy Neutron? They yes. did. It they was did. Jimmy Timmy Power Hour. Jimmy Neutron's a, a, a it's honorable. It's a solid mention. show. Yeah. It's really good. That one was. That one was. I remember that. We bring up Hey Arnold, and so two things stand out the most to me when I think of Hey Arnold. It's the the chocolate kid, chocolate boy. Who chocolate was boy a, was an addict. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Real addict. No, we right. Real addict. addict. And then the episode. I don't know if me and you. I, I thought we talked about it on some podcast. Where we just, probably I, did. It you know. was. It was the one with the 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 Asian guy who lives in the oh house. Oh my God! And Mr. his daughter, Mr. Oh. Wynn's daughter, and she and he lost her during the Vietnam. Duh, they showed together. that. Oh, like God. they showed. <laughs> yo, yo, it was crazy. Yeah, oh, the art style they chose, like it's red. It I'm was, like, that, that's yo. fire. That's and then flame. she came at the yeah. end, and Helga gave the boot. Why would you do that right now? You know, I'll be crying. Hey, look, it's look, so I'm, I'm gonna distract you. There's another episode that hit me in the heart too. Was is the the, uh, the, go, the, the ghost train? The ghost train. Oh, that was Ghost train. Yeah, there was like a there was like a like there's a train that was haunted. 
um, and they got on the train and it really was haunted. And there was like yeah. a really sad story of why the guy was yeah. actually yeah, it was a really sad story oh, of why the guy actually haunted the train. I gotta go back. You know? so they kind of solved it, but it's just like like a bunch of people went missing. Like get on this train at a certain time on this track, and it was like this guy who like oh. died on the train. I gotta go back yeah. and watch this. Okay, wait, I yeah. have to say one more, and then we're gonna have to do a whole episode on Hey Arnold. Yeah, we might. Um, the one that helped me a lot was when Helga went to therapy. Ooh. Because yeah. it really like show like therapy's not bad. You know, growing yeah. up, especially for black people, yeah. like mental health is kind of like, oh, you crazy. But like seeing Helga and like them showing what she went through, and as like, you know, I identify a lot with Helga, as you know. I um, couldn't imagine. But why. shut your ass up. But like just seeing, seeing, especially at that point, like as a kid, I was very angry. Yeah, like, you seem know, like a Pataki now. That I think I was. It. I used to. I used to fight. Yeah. Like I would just be. You got hands. I so. would be fight. <laughs> I would be fighting, but it was also. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh, tee hee hee tee hee hee. In my moment of vulnerability. <laughs> but even like the secretly writing the poetry and all that stuff, like I was very much Helga. So just like seeing that and identifying with her and like the older sister that was perfect. Like we had a lot of similarities. So it's just like, oh, I need to go therapy. Like, if Helga could go to therapy, I can go to therapy. How she was better at the end of the episode and show, like, she was still herself, but she just didn't punch Brainy that episode. So it's like, okay, we got growth. Therapy doesn't matter. I think for a lot of us, we're like, if we go to therapy and okay. admit there's something wrong, we're admitting there's something wrong with yes. us. Yeah. And it's like, you know, no, you're still yourself. It's just now you handle things better. I so, agree. Yeah. No, yeah. It's like, you're not only yourself, it's like, therapy <sighs> is like, I mean, for I me, allergies. I think therapy is important. I never, I actually, I don't even remember that episode to be fully yeah, honest, but I, but that's my point though is that mm -hmm. hey Arnold really took on some very serious things and did it in a way that sticks with mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Um. So Helga's I, mom was a wino. Helga's yeah. older sister was the coming back from college. Yeah, she was a per, like the perfect person. But then remember, she was depressed when she got that B, which just shows like how uh, much pressure was on her. Yeah. To feel perfect, and the dad was neglectful. Well, hold on a second, guys. Actually, I have a question now. Mm -hmm. Is based upon our reaction to all these different shows, would you guys re revisit your? Yeah, top Hey three? Arnold's definitely in there now. It's Kenan and Kel, as told by Ginger, and Hey Arnold for me. I don't even remember what my third one was now. Nah, I gotta keep mine. <laughs> I'm gonna keep mine. I, love hey, I like Hey Arnold, but I'm not going. I can't I, remember. I like Hey mine. Arnold better than Rugrats. Um, so. Avatar: The Last Airbender, okay. Legends of the Hidden Temple, and Rugrats. Yeah. I think it, Legend of the Hidden Temple can take a kick. Yeah, for Hey Arnold. I disagree. No, he, wa I disagree. he watches it though. Gu no, Guts Global cool. Guts when they brought the Guts kids was, from Ukraine and it was Guts getting was smoked. Not. Oh my god. Oh, Gullah Gullah Island, but it ain't. If we're doing Gullah, top Gullah, Gullah Island, we're doing Nick Jr. Hold on, hold on a second. Gullah Gullah Island. I was too old for that. Like by the time it came out, like it was, I was. We the same age. I, I think I'm older than you. Well, yeah, how old are you? Yeah, we we can do that later. Okay. But like, what I'm saying is like for me, I always felt yeah. like I remember the first time seeing Go Go Island. I was like, that's for together kids. In the bright it's, it was on Nick Jr. Yeah, I did. I never. Nick Jr. came out. Like for me, I feel like I grew up like with Nick, and then Nick Jr. came out for the kids below. Like, you didn't I feel like face. you were the no. no. Yeah, I was about to say, you're just an old man. You were probably like six, like, I'm not watching that. I, watch, <laughs> I still watch cartoons. What are you talking no, about? No, no, no. The children, well, I'm telling you, you do not like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't, yeah, but it's like a, it's a childish happiness. You don't like glee. Ooh, wow. You like, I love glee. You don't, no, you don't. I don't like the actual, like, show. You now, like. now I figured it out. You like, you like, because even the, the shows you're saying, like, there's some depth to it. You're like, somebody needs to die in this. Somebody needs to be I hurt do like or when upset. People, I do like when there's death in people. Yeah. Yeah. But like, Gullah Gullah Island over here, come on. You're like, nah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> well, that's Anybody me. It's dying? Not, it's not real. <laughs> Gullah Gullah Island's a real place. place. No, like, my what? point being is like, that concept of that show is just, it doesn't feel real to me. It's not complete. He, he, happiness. You don't like It's not happiness. It's realness. There's a difference. I like realness. I want things to be real. That doesn't say, that doesn't, that like, that doesn't have to be in opposition to happiness. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be. For example, I love Ted Lasso. Like, that's a really happy, good feeling show. That's what that is. Well, what happens in it? You haven't seen Ted Lasso? No, I've seen some of it, but I, have, I don't watch it like that. What, what happens in it? What do you mean what happens like, in it? Tell me the plot. Well, I'm I'm, on, I'm like three, like two episodes away from the end of the first season right now, so I'm watching it currently. Mm -hmm. gotcha. What I'll say is like, I don't know how it ends, but how it's going right now mm -hmm. is that a American guy mm -hmm. gets brought, American coach gets brought into, why are we talking about this right now? <laughs> gets brought into, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Either way, very quickly, American coach, uh, football coach gets brought into play, uh, do soccer coaching mm -hmm. for a team that had a, a owner that was a man who was a misogynistic asshole and his wife took over the team. Mm -hmm. um, and so she was just, I'm going to tank this because he loves this team more than anything else. And I mm -hmm. got this in the marriage. Comes to find out this guy that she hired to be a coach to ruin it was amazing. Mm -hmm. And like just the most positive human being you can imagine going through real stuff. And like 
he turns around the team by showing everybody love and everything just ends up working out in a really positive, happy way. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what the show is so far. What were the real things he's going through? Oh, you went through a divorce. Oh, you bet you liked that part. That was your favorite part, huh? Did I mention that or are you bringing you that saved up? It. You, you I like to point out who's bringing up what. You purposely left it out. That's okay. I what do you from, mean? I, you I learned from me. Helga on the couch. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> there was something that Nickelodeon used to do, and you got to tell me if you guys remember this. Okay. You used to be able to call in a hotline and tell the screen like which door to go through. Yeah. It was like a trick or treat thing that Nickelodeon used to do. Yeah. I, I don't remember. Can that. we? Remember can that. we just very quickly go to YouTube? Very quickly and look up uh, Nickelodeon Hotline oh. Halloween. And and while we look that up, you know what else? <laughs> Nickelodeon used to have really good like bumpers, and their commercials were really good. Do y'all remember? Commercials just, like, were amazing. The you remember the one with the hand, and then they would have. They just had a lot. Uh, you remember the Breakfast Time hotline? song? Uh, it, it Don't forget wait, what, it's breakfast wait, time. Wait, was Stick Stickly on Nickelodeon? Stick Stickly. Stick Stickly. I call people uh, Stick Stickly now. The Nickelodeon Halloween. We call you Stick Stickly. Screw you. I definitely heard. I definitely, we, call, we call Cleo Stick Stickly. Yo. I wanted to beat y'all ass for that. Cleo. Yeah, How could to, you let this occur, sir? I wanted to beat her what ass for that, bro. I was like, yo, Why are you pointing what? and not making eye contact? Because that yeah. was cold-blooded. He was living. I can't. You, it's not this. you started this hands thing that's been going on for four years. Did I? Yes. Yeah, I, I did mean, during the you pandemic. You started it. I did. What do you mean hands thing? The, the whole everybody noticing how big my hands is, he started it. Well, he's an observant person. Suck it. <laughs> Your finger? Because I don't know if it'll fit. Oh! Nice. Okay. No, nice. Okay. Nice. <laughs> I ain't mad at it. Okay, um, it's not going to put... Oh, yes, that's the one. Thumbstack <laughs> launches a home... Is this it? What is this? This is I'm not... A it, 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 no, this is too new. Oh. This is way too new. This but is, even with that, that so like, good. Nickelodeon was always so like... They was, were weird. I, let's talk about Nickelodeon. Quirky. Well, I think that's a good yeah. transition to the next. Question. Uh, real monsters. Wait, yeah, wait, we're not monsters. Talking, wait a minute. Wait, yeah. that's not on that list. We're not even on that. That list that we got up was like the top ones yeah. for sure. Yeah, but we're not talking about. Okay, let's. We got Doug. Rocco's Modern Life. Rocco's Modern Life. Love Rocco's Modern Life. Uh, it's so monsters. it's so much. We're gonna have to. Uh, yeah, give us. Can you bring that list back up? Uh, yes. Wild Thornberries. Wild Thornberries is great. The little uh, brother. <laughs> My Come life as a teenage on. robot. Yo. Uh, wait, is Invader Zim? Invader Zim. Invader Zim. Yo, Invader Zim is one of the Inva- best. Oh, mates. wait, wait. Dun, so good. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I was going to say another show, but I didn't know. What was it? No, it's, it's Cartoon Network. So oh, well, what is that? I still want to know because I like it. Oh, it's uh, Courage of Cowardly Dog. <laughs> oh, it's so a great show. Of, I think of Invader Zim. Courage, I kind of put those in the anime. It was like the weird, kind of scary, kind of guy. Like, I, we really going to have to do another episode because Nickelodeon was so. Because you have the animated stuff, you have the live action stuff. Yeah, I think there should be a separation. We could talk about that. because Danny Phantom? The thing is, like, when I think back. Danny Phantom, like I think back to some of the shows, like uh, like Hey Dude, you Hey Dude, yeah. Hey Dude, Pete and uh, Pete, salute, Pete. My, yeah, salute, salute my shorts, salute my shorts, salute your shorts, uh, I think is what it's called. Yeah, salute your shorts. It, it was just so, and then they had the movies. We're not even talking about Harriet the Spy and Snow Day. You know, I didn't, oh. you know, I wanted to like Harriet the Spy, but I didn't. You know, to be honest, well, I she was an asshole. I mean, I just remember watching it and being like, I don't care. Why like, did I look Carly. like... These are all the I Carly. I look like Bieber. I, the funny thing is, like, we're looking at the new shows, Nickelodeon, right now. And, I don't even know. Yep. They got their own Ninja Turtles now. I don't know most of these shows. Um, Thundermans was trash. Zoe 101 was was mid. Young Doc Victorious Dylan? was really good. Um, what, is Ned Declassified his own Ned what? Declassified, was, which was a solid show. Unfabulous. Um, I'm not even reading these. These are Nick, off the Can you click on the, you click on the Yo, former yeah, programming? <laughs> Top left, former programming. There we go. True Jackson with Kiki Palmer. Right, look, Zone. The Angry Beavers. The Yo, Yo, Angry Beavers. No, that was no, no, we do that our that was just We gotta redo our list. Hold on. Kablam. Kablam. Oh my God. Jimmy Legend Utah. of Korra. Um. Oh my God. Yeah, this... we're gonna have to do a whole nother episode. Yo, Cat Scratch was good. Cat Dog. Cat Dog. I, did, I hated Cat Dog. Cat Dog. Cat Dog, Cat dog is one of the worst animation shows ever. One fine day, one a wolf and a purr, a baby was born in a oh, color God, monster. Oh, God, I hated that show. Nobody <laughs> knew where I'm wrong. The show wasn't good. True. This is all live action stuff, I'm assuming? Yeah, yeah. this is live Naked action. Naked Brothers. Oh, Just Jordan. I love Just Jordan. Hey, it's bro, Just Romeo? Jordan. <laughs> Romeo, Romeo did and then, show. And then, uh, yeah, they had they gave wow. a lot of kids their own show, which Yo, was Yo, they don't, they don't, look at all these shows. Cousin Skeeter? Yeah, I remember Cousin Skeeter. Is Megan good on Cousin Skeeter? Yeah. And and what's his face? Robert Richard with his fine ass. Um, wow. Cousin Skeeter Double Dare was something People used to watch Nick else. Arcade Nick That's Arcade That's my shit forever. What would you do? What, what would, you, would you do? I don't remember What was that one. other one? Figure It Out Where they used to have Like out, yep. yep that was They had the, all that they cast had so, on there And then Lori we're not Beth even Talking about how 
She was she she Lori deserved Beth. That was my girl. Wait, are right you smarter there. than a fifth grader came out on Nickelodeon? I didn't know that. For a year. For a couple there. months. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then they had, you know, it turned into we talk about Nick Jr., but Nick Nick oh, Jr. Right there, right there. was also Noggin. Noggin. You remember? And then it got his own station, and then it was the end. Yep. And then now it's Freeform. Oh, that yep. was a Nick Cannon show. I right? That. Freeform? Freeform is the okay. uh all in with Cam. Cam that's what I was looking at. All in with Cam Newton. Yeah, Nick Cannon had a sketch show. No, Cam Newton Cam had a show. Cam Newton had a show. <laughs> All in with Cam Newton. 20, it, it can, you, in just, can you click it so I can see if there yeah, was a poster for it? Yeah, I just need to see it. this. Yeah, Wienerville. I remember down, Wienerville. Down, down a little bit. Down, uh, right there. Right there. Boom. Boom. The Amanda show. Oh, uh, no poster. Uh, it was a reality show. Or something. I want to see what this I got to know what this looked like. They don't even have images up. We'll let you know. It did not last long. They gave 20 episodes? I mean, it's Cam Newton. 20 episodes. All in with Cam Newton. This episode's gonna be an hour. <laughs> ah! Nah, Cam. Yo, Cam. Sorry, no. bro. Nah, Cam. No. This ain't it. I'll take the Cam today over this Yo, Cam. I mean, give this man some fine. dreads. No, no. Nah, give this, this man some street Cam. cred. Nah, nah, nah this fine. ain't it for oh, you, bro. Man. I get what y'all was trying to do, but nah. Still, nope. this, he's, he's getting sacked. Attractive. He's not throwing any balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was... Oswald. I loved Oswald. The with the with the with the um octopus. Door the Explorer. He had a little. He had a little wiener dog. Can you click Oswald? Little he had a little Bill? wiener dog. I hate little Bill. I loved little Bill before. I like, people uh, Bill roast Cuddy. me with little Bill. I'm mean, oh, <laughs> I've been oh, Bill. Bill. The, yeah, they roast the, me like because so, I remember one time I, we were at a lunchroom and I said something. I got somebody on somebody and killed him. They were just like and somebody that wasn't even in the shit talking shit on the side was like you gonna let little yeah. Bill kill you like yeah, that no, that's crazy and I was just like ah <laughs> that's, that's wild the yeah. whole world froze up you never you, saw like, this and he had you know, a sometimes dog? you get hit with something like when you got hit with stick stickly I love stick I was you know, like, you, you. have you ever been hit with that I'm, I don't, do you want me to do this which one <laughs> earthworm gym no oh. <laughs> that's, I, what yeah you have a photoshop um, wait who hit me with that GQ I think GQ hit you with what <laughs> earthworm, earthworm gym, gym. The, uh, the anger oh, in his face. He I'm, said, "G." Is this supposed to pop out? I got you, GQ. I got you. <laughs> I got you, okay, GQ. But no, nah, um, Nickelodeon. All, you know, obviously, this entire list of they heavy. Have so all right, I think this, this is a good transition to. I think what we can wrap up the question with because oh. there's so much to talk about here. <laughs> is um, I want to talk about the cultural impact of Nickelodeon. Yeah. Um, because we talked about the different shows and how we felt about them. But I, I'd actually argue like this is kind of a two part thing to talk about mm -hmm. is what you see as a cultural impact as well as like the innovation that Nickelodeon did, mm -hmm. whether that be from a technological way or what they did shows um, like Cleo, I'll ask you to speak first this time, if you don't mind. Like, what would you say, in your opinion, was and is I say was and continues to be the impact that Nickelodeon that you've seen in culture? Well, they, they've always kept their finger on the pulse as far as like what's happening, what's cool for a generation. Mm -hmm. Right. Like even their Kids mm -hmm. Choice Awards. They were, they were propping up the, the the stars, like the real stars, like the real Hollywood stars. These guys aren't touching Nickelodeon television, yeah. But they were like, "Hey, we want you guys to see, like, we want you guys to be entertained across the board." Mm -hmm. You feel me? You can come to our network and you can watch your cartoons, but the here comes the Kids Choice Awards, and it's like Leonardo DiCaprio is nominated. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, how is this a yeah. thing? But they, they they look at it from a bigger perspective as far as entertainment, which I appreciate. Quick story. Um, Kids Choice Award. There was the Jennifer Lopez's 2001 Kids Choice Award was available on eBay for like a thousand dollars. I did buy. I did bid on it. You bid on I it. To buy, I didn't want because I didn't care that it was Jennifer Lopez. I'm like, like this like, is an actual. It. It's the actual one. But like little blimp. The, it's the, the yeah, blimp. I've always for wanted real. a blimp. Yeah, I would want one of those. Exactly. Yeah. Like I. So yeah. Yeah, Brody has one because he Brody was on a show with what's his name Gronkowski. Yep. It I'm was okay. on Gron. I've got to see Brody's. Yeah. yeah. So shout out to Brody. Brody has uh, Brandon Brody has a. Uh, he has a blimp. He has a blimp. That's he has a blimp. Cool. That's yeah. awesome. So yeah, it, it's that for me. It's it's the fact that they've um, they've always kept their finger on the pulse of what is current and not getting stuck in their old ways. Like they could easily rely on their retro stuff. Easily, mm -hmm. they have us. Like nostalgic wise, they could win on that forever. But they're yeah. constantly Innovative. evolving and like when they when they introduce, I guess like their live action era, it was so much of it. And that, by that time, I was I wasn't watching Nickelodeon, but you got to think the things we just named: uh, the Jamie Lynn Spears show, mm -hmm, uh, one. Ned's Declassified. Mm -hmm. uh, what's another? What, is Unfabulous, it? Victorious, uh, iCarly. Zendaya came from that room. No, Zendaya came from Disney. Shake She's it still up Disney. Disney. Sorry, yeah. Don't sorry. Get, I'm such a nerd. Yeah, wow. <laughs> but that's my thing with Nickelodeon, man. They've they've continued to run their route, and they have an entire floor dedicated to SpongeBob. A lot of the, mm -hmm. like in their headquarters. Yeah. A lot of the floors share offices. Yeah. Or share share floor, and 
SpongeBob has an entire floor to itself. That's great. I've actually yeah. been to those offices because uh, one of my friends was an animator uh, nice. for Nickelodeon. That's so yeah. I got to go. And, w- and one of my friends also was a voice on an animated thing for Nickelodeon. So I was just like, I get to go and yeah. be there. And it's like, this is crazy. Like, they're campuses. I'm like, there's very little kids here, but this feels like a place kids would love. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Even these. Like, they, I bought these. Like, this was cool. I bought yeah. these. Yeah. 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 So, oh, what so about you, me, Oxy? Yeah. So, for me, I think you said the cultural impact. Yeah. Um, I always thought that Nickelodeon was dope in the fact that, like, so I, I'm, y'all know I love Disney. I, I love Disney, but I feel like the difference to me between like Disney and Nickelodeon is that Disney was always felt more like polished. Right, like I felt like those kids on Disney had it was a certain image they had to have, right? Like you, it was more this, mm-hmm. you know. Disney feels regal. I mean, they got castles, they got royalty, but like Nickelodeon, grimy. Like it's it's about <laughs> film. Slime. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> slime and fart and all of that kind of stuff. Rain and and yeah. I feel like for for the kid that I am, the loud running around like Nickelodeon just always felt more like the home I was supposed to be in. Like mm-hmm. this is where the filthy kids go. This is this raw. You always saw yourself as a filthy kid. Yeah, you, hey baby. Uh, you know it's I mean? me, baby. Wait, it's wait, me, like baby. I, but you know, it was just it was like the the you know we skateboard and we do that kind of stuff. Like we in we in the dirt. We play in the mud. Like yeah. that was what it felt like to be a Nickelodeon kid. So I always felt like that was more relatable for me as a kid. Okay, you know what I'm saying right. in this space. Well, I think filth, filth. <laughs> well, I, I think that. I feel that the thing that Nickelodeon, um, to actually pick it back up on what both of you guys said, I think the cultural impact of Nickelodeon for me was really that it was just cool to be a kid. Mm-hmm. Um, is that they made the things that we wanted to see regular and we got to see them often. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like you said, the Kids' Choice Award Awards was the only awards show I liked to watch as a kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, because like you don't know who's getting slimed and yeah. when, mm-hmm. you know, and how they're going to react to it. You know, it's just like, because people go on the show thinking like, well, you know, they just had me backstage with a whole hair and makeup crew for hours. There's no way they're going to. They're like, you got slimed, which was applesauce, by the way. I don't know if you guys did. It was applesauce? Green applesauce? Yeah, green applesauce. That's mm. what slime was. Because they're like, if they get some the kid's mouth or anything <laughs> like that. Then well, they, I, went to, I went to the Nickelodeon tour. The Cam was like, that's and they were disgusting. Like, they slimed you and they're like, yeah, it's always applesauce. So you that's can eat it. Like, yeah, you can eat it. I'm going to make some later. I'm going to get slimed. Yeah, just green applesauce. That's what the slime was. Roxy, don't. Please don't. Don't. Yeah, go see some videos. I'm just slimy. I really, it meant a lot to me. That you were like you were saying, Roxy, is that they felt like there's a lot of kids that felt real mm-hmm. on that on the network on Nickelodeon, as well as a lot of characters on the shows and the diversity of the content. Like I didn't like everything that came out of Nickelodeon, but they were mm-hmm. so bold with so yeah. much that came. I remember that Nickelodeon was kicking Cartoon Network's ass so bad. Do you guys remember that Cartoon Network had to go to the yeah, desperate they, measure? They did a commercial on Nickelodeon. No, well they did do that. That was dope. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that dope. was dope. That was yeah. dope. But what they did, another thing that they did is they were like, shit, we don't know what's gonna stick. Do you guys remember when Cartoon Network had to do like uh they were like, here's our show, and the show is a bunch of literally here's a bunch of pilots. Cartoons, cartoons. Yeah, cartoon cartoons, yeah. and like yeah. you guys can vote on which pilot gets made into yep. a show. Yes. Because they were like, We can't compete with Nickelodeon. Like Nickelodeon keeps throwing out bangers. I didn't even know that was why they did that. Yeah, yeah. Nickelodeon was winning the uh, the ratings uh for animated series at that point. And then we're like, we're Cartoon Network. Like we have a bunch of ideas, but we don't know which ones to invest in because they didn't have the money that Nickelodeon had. Yeah. They didn't have the, you know, they didn't have the theme parks. They didn't have all the kind of stuff. Yeah. So they had to go in. That's cool. Um, I also want to point out, you know, since it hasn't come out yet, we can't talk about it very much. Um, but the last thing I want to talk about with Nickelodeon is like the potential, the possibilities of this documentary that's coming out mm. um, about the backside, the back end of. What's oh no! It, it did come out. It came out on the fifth. Oh, it already came out. Yeah, I didn't know it came out on the fifth. Oh, it already came out. It comes out in March. Oh, it comes out in March. Okay, I thought it said February fifth. Yeah, see, I'll be checking my shit. Like, maybe it was a here. trailer. The trailers already come okay, out. Okay, maybe it was like February fifth. I said but, I gotta yeah, go watch it. Yeah, they haven't even announced everybody that's Ooh. in it yet. So like, they're very purposely like holding back who are some of the main child actors that have felt abused by what's the guy's name? Dan Schneider. And then it's not just him. They're it's his saying whole, it's, yeah, but yeah, he's it's the his boss. Whole team. His team was very abusive and like manipulative, and they created a really toxic environment. Apparently. This yeah. is all allegedly, allegedly. allegedly they allegedly they, they have a whole documentary these kids about doing it like they had they had this big thing on feet. Mm-hmm. Like they had feet were in a lot of the shows, and they were saying like it was because he had this fetish and was sexualizing the children. Wow! Like allegedly, we're still well, saying I'm allegedly. Saying, like, it's, it's a, but like, like that's what all I say is if I'm Nickelodeon executives right now, I'm worried. <laughs> like, even though yeah. I was like I wasn't around during this time, yeah. I had nothing to do with it. I'm worried because it's still the same company. We're probably gonna be liable for some. Yeah, you know that's how it goes. Like as soon as one person's like you already know one one little stick can break the levee. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I just want I think that is a hundred percent something that was worth mentioning. Mm-hmm. This episode is like it brought a lot of joy to us, but at what cost we don't know yet. Yeah. yeah. So we'll look forward to seeing what that looks like. Um, all right, guys, our favorite one of the favorite things we get to do is. <sighs> 
show and tell for the class. Yay. Yay. Um, so we're doing that in the Nickelodeon so style today. Um, and as I said in the beginning of the episode, I was not a, I'm not a Nickelodeon nerd. I'm just a fan. Um, there's a difference. And so I'm going to go ahead and concede that I don't have anything to show. Yeah. Um, but I would like to see what you guys have to show. Let's start with Roxy. You start with me because... Richie Rich over here. All right. So wow. I have. Wow. I went down and Roxy. Nickelodeon handed hey, me. Is, is oh, <laughs> they handed me with my millions. Okay. So I have. Is that how he talks? <laughs> in my can mind. You, can, you, can you do the, your thing in, uh, Cleo? in Cleo's voice? I'm Cleodor Thomas and I. Cleodor? <laughs> Cleodor? <laughs> Cleodor? You say Cleodor? <laughs> nah, That's his rich name. Bro. Cleodor the fuck. That is so ass. funny. So I. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> Why are you so no, I'm, I'm gonna see how this plays out. I'm gonna see how this Thank plays you. out. I'm gonna see how this no, plays out. No, that is so funny. Every time that, voice. anytime Cleo has a rich moment, we have to call him yeah, Cleo. Cleo, <laughs> moving forward. Right? Cleo, 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 where I, yeah. <laughs> Tommy, huh? Tommy, yeah, where I dress up like Tommy Pickles, full yeah, that diaper. Wouldn't, that wouldn't work for you. <laughs> it, she, it's really good. But she good. does it. I, I don't want to see it. I'll show you later. Blue shirt. Remember, it's just the same blue shirt. It's the same blue shirt. Titties galore with a big ass diaper on. Okay. <laughs> well, let's, let's be honest, it doesn't have to be that big. Oh, oh well, you got enough hips for both of us, sir. I so do. I, I got mad slide hips. Some over. I got mad hips. I use don't it for my BBL. We go from small shoulders to wide hips for Brendan. Yeah, he like. I'm a pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> shout oh, out, thick shout ass. Out. All right, so as I was my shout show out, and tell. Hey, shout out to all the pears. Pears. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he thick. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so my item is a stuffed animal, and I wear a diaper. Um, but it's not a diaper. You it's... wear a diaper every day, or just for that? Costume? No, hey, I mean it, it is moist, but no. So I put on. Some bloomers, and then I stuff it. You said this is your people earlier. Just I stuff it with there. diapers to make it look like a dirty diaper. I've done it at cons. It, it it is a lot. A lot of people like it. I found out people be fetishing that, so I haven't been doing it as much lately. Like people have like baby fetish, which go to jail, but like <laughs> <laughs> like role play fetish. Yeah, so I'm thinking I'm like. Oh, one of my favorite characters. And somebody's like, yeah, I hope that diaper. Somebody wrote in the comments like, I hope that diaper is messy. And I said, okay, so this is the last time. But this is my wow. show and tell item. It was not messy. So you'll be making the faces that crack me up. Because you were like, I hope that diaper is messy. And Cleo was like. <laughs> his, eye, he just, his face just went black. To, it's like he goes to a dark place. He's like, I don't want anyone to know where I just was. <laughs> Dog, this is fucking crazy people how are people, are. People, are people are. People are sick. People yeah. are sick, man. That's All right, so, what so you yeah, got this for is my Cleo? item. Yeah. Uh, I brought my Nickelodeon alarm clock. Nickelodeon used to have all these cool tech so things, yeah. Yeah, and they they made a few different tech things. They had this, they had the the phone, <gasps> they had a boombox, they had a cassette player, they have a camera. Wait, yeah. is this your phone as well? That's my phone as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got. It's not connected to the oh, United. It does. Press, still make sound. Press the red button. Press the red button. Look, it lights up. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Who you calling? Who you calling on the Nick line? So the My bitches. <laughs> <laughs> you should have been a Nickelodeon character, but you know, it's nice to know where your brain is. <laughs> So There's cool. a uh, accessory that my brother bought me, so it allows me to connect my phone Bluetooth wise to it in the house. Oh. So if someone calls my house, my phone it that does ring, and I can talk to him through that. Really? Yeah. So I do use it at the house. Oh, yeah. so shout yeah. out! Shout out to Kadeem. Real shit. Yo, shout out. Real shit. Kadeem. Me in the kitchen, like, yeah. Uh -huh. Hey girl, but it's cool. nah, come over. <laughs> Play on my Nick so yeah, I wanted to bring these to show them off. And as you see, Roxy's having a good old time because that's what they were for, man. We wanted this stuff. Yeah. We wanted this stuff as a kid, man. It's, I never saw them at Toys R Us. No. I really don't remember. Buy, you have to buy them through catalogs, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Roxy. You break my phone. You our titties, bro. Get your titty you juice. Your face. Get your titty juice away from my, my earpiece. Thank you. Give him my... Give Call him. Give it. Call him, Cleo. Give me my phone. Tell your bitches my titties been on there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, Roxy, you're supposed you're supposed to do our outro. Oh, yeah. Please help. Like, please save us. Okay. Check description for info. Hit the. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of How to Nerd. Make sure you hit the subscribe. <laughs> you piss me off. Make sure to ow, hit the subscription button below. Feel free to join our Patreon and follow us on all of our social media at Hot a Nerd Podcast. Bye, guys. She did her best, y'all. Nick, 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 Nick,